Okay. Um, I've been following your teachings for a little while, and I, I love them. As far as I can feel, there's no resistance there. I really believe what you're saying. It resonates with me. I, I, I feel that there's something special about me, about us, about everything. Um, I just, I wonder if you can guide me towards being a more effective allower. I just, I, I just feel that I could, my life could be such a beautiful magic carpet ride. I know that my vortex contains so many things that I've created and I get these moments where I just feel it. I know they're there. For example, I'm in the process of looking for a job and I can just taste it. I know that there's something out there that's delicious, that's for me, that's satisfying and fulfilling. But I have a feeling that I'm, I understand it better than, I'm, than I am at applying it. And so I was wondering if you can tell me what's tripping me up or what if, you know, if I'm on the right track. Let's talk about it a little bit and, and you'll, you'll feel, you'll feel a, a shift as we visit here just a little bit. You said some really good things. Everyone really understands and they relate because, because everyone is reaching for something that is just beyond what they are realizing. So everybody understands that gap that you are describing. First, we want to say to you that if you could think in terms of having already done the choosing life caused you to put what you want in your vortex and source is already on it and we know those words they may be hard for you to hear but nothing could be more accurate the lining up of circumstances and events for the satisfaction of you but the next step is the realization of it. And that's the part that you're talking about. You said, help me with my allowing. So here are a series of words that will soothe you and you will feel resonance with this. And then we'll talk about some specific things that you might do to apply them. First and foremost, you're not trying to find that job. You want to prepare your vibrational atmosphere so it can find you. That's really key. Because when you're looking for something that you can't find, what's your vibrational stance? I can't find it, which means you can't find it because you can't find something that's lost and you can't find something that you can't find. You can't find it, but it isn't that you can't find it. It is, as you said, that you are not allowing it. And the reason that you're not allowing it is because you can't find it. <laughs> so what you want to do is think in terms of all that you've done. You've lived life, you've selected carefully. You've put things in your vortex, you know what you want. So you can find the feeling of it. You could find the feeling of it, even though you can't find the specifics of it. So when you take the time to find the feeling of it, now you're no longer preventing it from coming. It's like this. It's like everything that you've asked for, and we're not kidding you at all about this. This is the way that it is. Everything that you've asked for is all queued up and the path is being given to you in the form of ideas in the form of thoughts in other words source within you is giving you impulses thinking about you thinking about what you want thinking about the full fruition of what you want so there's a steady stream of path coming to you coming to you coming to you coming to you but so many of you it's like you think you're in a Boston rainstorm and there are no rainstorms like Boston rainstorms with the wind gusts and the rain you've got your umbrella out there like this against against the wind currents of everything you want so even though it's flowing to you it's flowing at you it's flowing to you you've got your umbrella up because you're so wadded up in reality that you are not letting in the improvement the idea so did you feel the improvement in that did you feel the new resonance in that that it's about allowing it to flow to you recognizing that it is flowing to you and preparing yourself your vibrational atmosphere your mood your attitude so that you let in what's flowing to you so that you can be the realizer of it you see as we visit with you talking to you about creation there is a little bit of a learning gap awareness gap visiting with humans who like knock on wood see it hear it smell it taste it touch it manifestations and us who are vibrationally experts we know about vibration 
so we are looking for ways to explain to you how you turn thoughts to things how do you turn vibration into see it hear it smell it taste it touch it well you don't turn it into it you tune into it you tune into the realization of it your television is emitting a signal and your tuner receives a signal and the manifestation appears on the screen it's not different from that but you want to make your reality different than it is and so often you don't acknowledge that you are receivers who are practicing frequencies until the signal comes into clearer and clearer and clearer and clearer view and that's what the feeling of getting on your path is that's the feeling of stepping onto your path so the next thing we want to say to you is it's not about finding your path it's about knowing understanding that your path is coming right to you you just want to step on it at the right time the path's right there there's a gestation period of all things just like when a, a woman is pregnant there's a gestation period you don't want to give birth the day after conception you don't <laughs> you 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 want the cooperative components to assemble and the same thing is true of everything that you're creating there is a gestation period but you have control over the length of it by the amount of attention you give to the frequency that you are emitting to your allowing so you might say well Abraham I think I've heard some or all of that from you on many occasions so what's different for me right now the difference is we want you to focus upon being the realizer of the emotion we want you to care about how you feel most everybody's live in a really conditional conditional emotional response and we want you to find a way to emit or to accomplish or to conjure to accomplish an emotion apart from a condition which means you have to get pretty general so tell us in singular emotional words terms what this job that is on its way to you so clear so close what does it feel like in the middle of that one word emotional so, word exciting all right what else satisfying right rest with those words for just a minute satisfying it's satisfying now what does satisfying mean let's let's explore the emotional content the basic vibrational starting place momentum beingness of satisfaction what is satisfaction what other emotional words help explain satisfaction fulfilling fulfilling proud proud um, nice feels good feels feels like ease ease it feels sure it yeah. feels it feels comfortable feels it, right it feels clarifying. clarifying it feels clear clear it feels clear it feels sure it feels good it feels it feels it feels perfect it feels use emotional words if you can it feels it feels <sighs> Emotional words. <laughs> I, I, well, not emotional words. Emotion that you're describing with words. We're not looking for emotional words. We're looking for the feeling of a wonderful work environment. It calls me. It feeds me. It inspires me. It soothes me. It is me. It represents me. It fulfills me. It inspires me. It excites me. It it calls me it is me I belong here I love being here I I love now expand it a little further. I love co-creating I love engaging with lovely people I love co-creating I love us being more I love bringing me to the table and love attraction matching me with others like me I love the more that we are as we show up there I love the feeling of being together I love the feeling of movement and momentum I love the feeling of inspiration I love ideas popping in my mind 
now we haven't talked one little bit about anything that you might do there but can't you feel yourself there don't you want to go there don't you want to be in the middle of that don't you love being the center of that don't you don't aren't you excited to see what the universe will deliver to you in terms of ideas and inspiration and rendezvous with others given that momentum that you've got started there can't you feel the momentum of that do you trust that law of attraction feels you that law of attraction knows you that Absolutely. law of attraction is responding to you can you feel how your signal has become strong just as a result of this conversation can you feel that you're emitting something entirely different than what you were before can you feel the clarity in what you're emitting can you feel the sureness can you feel the signal that you've got going out there and can you feel that that signal is matching all of the things that you put into this vortex of creation that that vibrational reality has just been matched can you feel that you are turning those thoughts that you put there incrementally to things can you feel that impulses are about to move from your vortex to where you are can you feel that there's a melding a resonating a blending a merging between you in your now and all that you have vibrationally become can you feel how the things in your vortex cannot be reflected deflected they cannot be deflected by your umbrella anymore because you put it down you're no longer deflecting what's in there so in the way that source is flowing it to you has always been has always been there has been nothing between you receiving everything that you've been asking for and the full manifestation of it nothing between it except your vibrational shield that you've had up there which you just took down as a result of doing some vibrational emotional work just now you see how it works that's how the thoughts that you put into your vortex turn to things oh those thoughts they got big and they got momentum and they got sophisticated they have been evolving they've been gestating in that vortex they have been becoming now you are in the delivery room <laughs> doesn't have to be painful <laughs> allowing yourself to realize so how does the realization come how how does that happen does all of a sudden does does it, does someone just drop into your front yard with a sign maybe but not likely not likely it's an impulse and it's an impulse to it's an impulse to get in your car you don't know why it's an impulse to go over there you don't know why it just feels like going over there if it's an impulse to stop over there you don't know why and all of a sudden you've you realize that you're having a conversation with someone that you are both really enjoying and you think oh I've been on my path all morning and I didn't even know it I just followed the impulse I followed the impulse most of you are so regimented in what you are doing and it's a lovely thing if you have a little bit of space between all of the things that are required of you and being able to follow your nose a little bit and we know it's more difficult when you've got responsibilities that are demanding activity from you but you have the ability to find periods of time where you ignore the conditions of your experience and focus on the emotions that you seek to accomplish and then you stay there long enough that momentum has ensued and it is our promise to you with as little work as you just accomplished as you drew that conversation from us and it wouldn't have been there if you hadn't been there to match it as you drew that conversation from us you created a vibrational atmosphere that is going to yield to you all kinds of realizations but you gotta know what the realizations look like they look like a positive feeling they they feel like a positive feeling they look like an impulse to do something it you all when you look for a job you want you want to define everything that it is and you want to look all around the planet of all the places that it is and then you mean to march toward what it is and when you get there there are a thousand other people standing in line looking for the same job and we say that's not the way it works the job will come to you the path will come to you you are the attractor of your experience we want you to hear these words these are the most powerful words that you will ever hear from us and you are prepared to understand them we know you're gonna get this you'll get this you can't get there from here hear that you can't get there from here but what you do is you prepare here and there comes over here that's how it works you can't get there you prepare here and there comes over here 